Maybe you remember our last video on how to avoid markers during 3D scanning with hand scanners. It was quite successful and we had a lot of feedback on it. This is the third episode and we are going to introduce something totally new in this episode that was not present on the market so far. And I was remembering our initial time when we just had Artex scanners available and they were not able to deal with markers uh, without any additional technical equipment. We were powdering surfaces in that time to create a microstructure in the surface to be able to scan the whole part. I thought why don't try this with a vanishing um, 3D scanning spray. And we started to discuss the topic with our developing partner MR Chemie, and it was possible. So I want to show you the first results on the first development stage that will be launched into the market in a few examples. This moment we are beside a car and the car hood is normally a surface that doesn't have too many details and too many geometrical features. So scanning it without any markers is rather difficult, especially when you use a scanner that is just using LED light or infrared light. Just to show you how it would be trying to scan the surface without any kind of surface treatment or topo spray, we're going to do a test run before we spray it. I'm going to start at an area where there is rather more geometry that he could use for the tracking. I have activated the tracking over texture and geometry. So let's see what is happening. You can see that as long as there is some kind of the features visible, the scanner is keeping track, but this is a very small area. And if you try to move in any direction, he is losing his path and doesn't return. So no possible way to scan that. In the next try, we are going to use the new topo spray as a surface treatment and test how it will behave after we spray that. So in the next try, we are going to delete the data that we created before uh, that was quite unusable for any kind of the purpose and we are going to try with the same settings and the sprayed surface with the topo spray. And you can already see in the preview that there is a lot more of the surface visible and you can see that we are firmly following the surface, we are not losing the track and we are capable of scanning areas that are having very, very little features actually. Topo spray is helping you in scanning such a surface in two ways. There is a texture effect by small particles that reflect on the surface and there is a topology effect where the name comes from. This is small particles on the surface that help the scanner to orientate himself that he knows where he is. So you can see in car scanning especially you can benefit a lot from topo spray and you have the possibility of capturing surfaces without marking the surfaces and have to demarker the surfaces what is actually taking more time even. So I'm really enthusiastic to see how you're going to use the topo spray and please report us your experience. We as well tested uh, the topo spray on the new Einscan H2 in the IR mode, considering that um, in IR mode the surface treatment is a bit more difficult because IR wavelengths are penetrating small layers it was working very well. In general, we recommend to uh, run the scanning on the brighter area of the camera settings that you might see in the left upside corner of the, of the picture here. We have some small red areas in the scanning. Please consider this as well, that the intensity of the light is variating a lot by the distance the scanner has to the surface. But in general, we recommend to stay a little bit more on the bright area of the settings because you will detect more small surface particles. We tested a spray as well with uh, an Arctic EVA and we see very good results. In general, you will as well feel a very fast possible hand movement in scanning. 
as a result of a better tracking with the topo spray. Now that you've seen the topology spray in action, just a little bit about the theory behind it and how it's worked. The topology spray is creating a unique surface pattern locally on your low featured part. Like in the sketch, this is creating like some surface that he will create in each of the frames that have overlapping and enables the scanner software in real time to get a better superposition results without making bigger errors. For cheaper scanners that have a low surface resolution, the benefit of the topo spray might not be too big. As well, there is a compromise in the size of the particles for the stochastic pattern. If we would make it very good for the scanner, detectable like in a wallpaper, then it would affect your scan results and we didn't want that. The actual topo spray is creating a pattern that compromises between not detecting the topology effect on your scan and get a good result still in the tracking that you realize while scanning. So we are very keen to see how good it will work with the different scanners. I'm expecting that there will be very good results with the Creoform LED scanners for example beside the very successful test with Shining scanners and as well the scanners from Artec. Come to visit us at Formnext, we will launch it together with our partner Emarkimi there. We are there in hall 12 and we have the stand number 79. Just see us there. <music>